I am a scientist because I like to solve mysteries. And science is full of unresolved mysteries. To be a scientist, it is for me kind of a detective. You have a hypothesis about what happened and you have to be creative about that. And also you have to have a lot of technique and be precise. And you have to be also very logic to interpret your conclusions. And this is pretty much what we do in science. Our daily life is full of uncertainties. In science it's the same. There are many outcomes, many solutions, many responses that we are not certain and we don't know. That can be solved by hard work and understanding better the underlying processes, but also there is uncertainty that we cannot avoid. We have to deal with this uncertainty, we have to understand it and know the origins, and this is my work. I help the experimentalists by pointing to circumstances that probably will escalate and increase the variability. And also I can calculate the thresholds below which that variability will not escalate and will not hinder and mask the effect the experiment is exploring. Experiments on ocean acidification are particularly difficult to tackle. There are many players and many feedback loops are involved. And at the end, the best we can do is to give a range of the response of the system to acidification. This is what I do with mesocosm experiments. We observe a lot of variability and my work is understanding what is the origin of that variability. So in order to handle these uncertainties and this variability, we need to go to mathematical approaches. That means we simulate the nature with mathematical equations that we implement in a program in the computer and let the program run and then give us numerical solutions. When working with ocean acidification, we have to accept that we have to handle variability. That means that many processes in life, in nature, and in particularly in ecology of ocean acidification, the answer is not black or white. Always there will be a gray area. This is also important when we communicate to policy makers because it is really not possible to give just a value to the effect of ocean acidification, but possible scenarios with their probabilities. And this is highly difficult and the best we can do from science.